Hello and welcome to Paper Play with Julie Kay. Thank you everyone so much for joining me and today I'm here with another episode of the hashtag Little Bits of Lace 2024 hosted by Corey Dahman. I will have Corey's channel listed below in the description box if you open it up if you wanted to learn all about her little challenge of using up little bits of lace this year. And today I thought I would pop on one of the things that I love doing with my leftover laces is using them as page tabs or tabs on journal cards or on tags. And I did pull out a couple of pieces of lace from my stash, just some examples of types of lace that I would use for page tabs. And here's, you know, some little bits that I had. Even this one that came from a lace curtain I think would make a nice page tab or a tab on a journal card. This one, also this one, this nice crochet trim, and this one or just some samples. And one of the things I also like to do is sometimes when I sit down to make page tabs is I will do quite a few and I'll sit down and do them on my sewing machine. You can also glue them onto the corners. But here's a couple that I had that I already sewed. And basically what you do is you take one of your little bits of lace, you fold it in half, and then I will take a sew down like right about here because then you can glue this part down on a page. You of course could glue this direct, or not glue, but you could sew it directly onto a page also, or glue it without even sewing it, but I usually choose to sew it. So I have a couple here that I have done in the past. And you can just kind of see, and then I'll show you how I'm going to add a couple of these to some different projects in my little bits of lace. This one I actually sewed over a piece of material before I made it. Here's another one. Again, if you look really close, you can see my stitching. And then you could glue it right here onto your project. Here's another pretty little one with the eyelet lace. And then I think I actually showed you a little piece of this lace on this one that I have made. So now I do have some projects here that I'm going to add tabs to. And so here is the first example that I talked to you guys about was just sewing it directly like taking your one of your little bits of lace and you could sew it either on the top or the side and you would sew it just directly with a tab showing on your journal or your your journal page or your tag or your journal card so here's one that I've already done that to and I just was going to decorate it on both sides real quick and so you can see this one again, I sewed on directly and then I just had this little snippet here of a little flower that came off of an applique, I think. Eyelash trim, because you guys know I love my eyelash trim. So I'm just going to add the eyelash trim and then I'm going to sew, or not sew, but glue on my little decorative element. If I was doing something other than a journal page, I'd probably add a flat back pearl or a button to that, but because I'm always making sure that I don't want to add too much bulk, I'm not going to add anything more to that. And then I also pulled from my lace scrap pile just this little bit of bridal trim, and I'm going to glue that on this, this back side of the tab. And on this one, I'm just trying to be careful to just only put glue on the heavier parts of the lace just because it is see-through on some of it so I'm just trying to put it I'm just trying to be strategic about where I'm using my glue and I find that I can also use besides the Fabri-Tac glue once in a while I do use the the tacky glue if it's li lighter bits of lace that I'm gluing down and so I'll just glue that one there to decorate this page up so there's the one side and there's the other one. So I like that and then of course you'll see the tab showing on the the journal when I put that add that page into my project. So here I have a long tag and this one came from My Porch Prints. I think it's oh quite a long time ago I bought like one of her rose kits when she had a special going on with a bunch of roses in it. And 
what I did is I cut out the tag and I sewed around the edges, which I think you'll probably see better on the back side. I also added some lightly tea dyed paper to the back and I inked the edges using, I think it's Victorian Velvet Distress Ink. And so this tag, I thought it'd be nice to add one of the little page tabs and I was just going to glue it on. So here's what I was talking about when I met, sit down and mass produce them. You know, I have a bunch of these and then all I have to do when I'm working on a journal is I can just glue it down and it still has a look of being sewed on even though it wasn't sewed on. And so for this one again, I'm just going to add a little bit of glue on both sides of my tab here. We'll glue that down at the top of that tag. And of course I like to have some sort of decorative element added to it. And I had picked out two different possible flowers. I could put one on both sides if I wanted to, but I think I'm just gonna do one on one side. So I might, I might just add this little one right here. And I think this one came from um, Gisela at Lavish Laces on Etsy. I kind of remember that one. And so again, I'm just going to add a little bit of eyelash trim and I think I cut off too much. So I'm just going to cut this one in half. We'll glue that down and then Again, I'm just going to add a little bit of glue on the petals because the middle part's kind of see-through on this, this lace. So I'm just adding it to the petals and it should glue down nicely. So that'll just take a minute or two to dry. But here is the finished tag with a little bit of tab on the top of it. And then the last kind of example that I had was using um, one of the page tabs on like a little journal card. So again, it's another My Porch print that I did add tea dyed paper and I sewed around the edges. And this one, I had this pretty little lace right here. So this one's gonna be a little bit tougher cause it's a little bit more of a see-through lace to glue down. This one probably would have been a better option for me to have sewed directly onto the journal card, but we'll put a little bit of glue on this side. And we'll just glue something over each of the sides to make it, to make it work. So on this side, I did have some of this wedding lace that came off of a wedding dress. Boy, am I dropping everything today. Sorry about that, guys. So this is going to look cute, I think. And we'll just post, put that right there. Let me wipe up my glue mess. And then let's just tip it over. And I'll add a little bit of glue to this back side of the tab. Because I didn't do that originally. And... I think for this one, I might as well go ahead. I still have this flower sitting here, so I'm gonna add that flower with that little bit of eyelash trace trim that I have left. And then let me figure out which side's the front here. There's the back side of my little journal card. There's the back side. And there's the front side. And this one I'll probably go in and stamp something on the back eventually on that one, I think. But that was my little journal card. And then again, we had the tag that we decorated. And then of course, the little page tab on the actual journal page. And again, this piece of paper um, this digital image is from my porch prints. So again, I wanted to thank everybody so much 
for watching today's episode of the hashtag Little Bits of Lace 2024. And until next time, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and happy crafting.